Hi YouTube, this is Katie with Rosebud's Travels. And that's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels standing there. And Lewis is going to demonstrate an efficient and good way to dump the tanks. So Lewis, what is that you're using right there? A rhino blaster. So he's hooking the rhino blaster on to the black tank first. Well, to the to, well, to the sewer connection, he says. And we're here at a dump station. We're at Lake Somerville State Park. I mean, not State Park, Lake Somerville COE in uh, Texas. Somerville, Texas. And. We've just been camping for five days. And this is early November 2020. So what Lewis is doing right now is he's hooking up a water hose to the Rhino Blaster. That's how we rinse our tanks. Is with that water hose. The Rhino Blaster has a valve that allows the water to only flow one way so it doesn't backwash into the hose itself. Next, Lewis is going to hook up the sewer hose to the Rhino Blaster. We don't need to add any supports today because we have a good slope from the connection down to the ground over here. Lewis, could you turn around so people can see what you're doing? I'm hooking the end that goes in the ground. So Lewis has an elbow that goes into the, into the sewer. He's just going to set it down in there. That's all he needs to do. And then he's gonna, going to release the black tank first. Oh, black there tank goes release. the black tank. So while we're watching all that fun, well, that went pretty quickly. Yeah. We have added the fast gray tank kit. Uh, it's, a, the little, uh, it's a little vent hose. We have added that. We added that in Davis Mountain State Park. Frank added it to our Gazeta. And it does make a difference in how fast the... Uh, okay. Looks like... You can rinse the tank. So now I'm going to release the gray. So the gray tank rinsing out will help wash debris down the this our and pipe. And as you can see, it drains continuously. It used to kind of run fast at first and then it would trickle. And now what it does, it does a con kind of continuous drain because that vent, it opens it up uh, better and allows it to drain more freely. Right. And if you're lucky, when you come to the dump station, you'll have a nice slope like this one has. This right. one has a really good slope, yeah, so the sewer hose will drain really, really well. And that's nice. Our sewer hose is in two sections, two 10-foot sections, which allows us to use 10 feet instead of 20 feet when we've got room for that. So that's a, a much better way to manage the excessive length of hose if you can make it so that it's not uh, quite so long. As you can see, our gray water is still draining and it's draining good got a steady flow of water and, and as I said we we spent uh, five nights here at Lake Somerville so this and we this is the first time to dump um, so our tanks 
they weren't full. No. They they weren't completely full. No, we could have probably full. gone another day if we had wanted to, they for sure. Full, but, they were getting close. but we don't we don't typically let them fill all the way up. Uh, seems uh, like a nightmare scenario to me. Right. But we now know we can go five days with the two of us and go five days and without without a sewer hookup. So that's good now, to know. I would say typically we're pretty light on water usage. We do Navy showers, so we just sponge bathe and uh, unless we know we're going to be able to dump pretty quickly and um, we're light with the dishwashing and that sort of thing so we don't overfill the tank so the next thing to do is to close the gray tank valve which lewis is doing and then he's going to close the valve at the bottom of the rhino blaster whoops he needs to turn on the water which he has not done which i will do and the black tank is open the black tank is open so what he's doing right now is he's adding water. The rhino blaster valve at the bottom is closed and the black tank it, valve is open. What this does is it forces water back through the sewer in the casita back into the black tank. And we fill it up as far as we think it, it needs to be filled so it'll do a really good rinse on the black tank. So that's a, Lewis can speed up this part of it, but uh, the black tank is what, 16 gallons? 16. Right. So we don't fill the black tank all the way up, but we do fill it up pretty far. So while he's doing that, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit more. It's important to try to maintain uh, sanitary conditions as best you can when you're handling toxic materials and toxic waste like sewer waste. So you'll notice that Lewis is wearing gloves even though he's pushing his glasses up on his face which he should not be doing. But he needs the glasses so I'll let him go on that. Um, we also carry hand sanitizer with us, so we carry rubber gloves and hand sanitizer in an effort to make sure that everything, uh, w that he's not coming in contact with waste. You can see that the black tank is still pretty grimy, so he's draining it, and then um, uh, he'll fill it up again. Typically, we fill it up a couple of times. Um, what our goal is, is for the water to run almost clear or clear. And since this dump station is not real crowded, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of it and make sure we leave with a really clean black tank. I notice that hose has a hole in it water in the grass at the same time. The bees like it. Yep. So I'm just going to pan over here. Lake Somerville, if you look off in the distance there, you'll see there's a little herd of deer. There are deer everywhere. And this part of the park is, uh, there's a a loop of the campground that is not being used. You can see some roofs and remnants of camping spots, but it's closed. And so it's very overgrown. And of course the lake is here. Yeah, they haven't refurbished the campground. I believe it flooded in Harvey. Okay, now Lewis is back to uh, Dump in the tank, you can see that looks like we're going to need to do it one more time. Get that gray tank, black tank all cleaned out. So each time he rinses the black tank, to uh, after he's filled it with water, he opens the um, valve at the bottom of the rhino blaster and lets the water run out. He turns off the water so there's not water running into it at the same time. 
He opens the valve at the bottom of the rhino blaster and whatever is in the pipes empties out. And once he's got it filled up again, he turns off the water, closes the valve of the rhino blaster, opens and uh, leaving the valve, the black tank valve open. And then he opens the rhino blaster valve and the water rushes out or the waste or whatever's in there. It takes a little longer than you might think to fill up the, the black tank or to add water to it because if you'll, you see how the diameter of the sewer hose is pretty big. So the sewer hose itself holds a fair amount of liquid. So you have to fill that up before it actually gets into the tank. So here he goes. So he's opening the valve. He's got the water running still, which he needs to turn off the water. Lewis? Yeah. Turn off the water. Well, I think I'm going to Or you got it, it closed? Okay, he's going to rinse it one more time. So I'm going to pause. It's still fairly dirty. Yep. I mean, yeah. So we're adding just a little bit of water back into the black tank. So while we're driving, it can slosh around, maybe finish cleaning things out. While we're driving back home. And we do have a uh, way to clean the tanks at home. Right. We have a, we have a, a sewer connection at home that we can hook up to. So. That's probably good enough. Okay, so just close the black tank. Let whatever is in there out. You got water pressure building up in the hose. And and what Lewis is doing now, are you filling the gray tank? Okay, we're going to do a very quick rinse on the gray tank. It doesn't really need much of one, but it can be a good idea and just in case there's any food waste left in the gray water tank. Hot today. It is a warm afternoon. It's This is the hottest it's been. I think it must be about 75 or getting close to 80. Oh, yeah. the, the week has been beautiful here. I think it's over 80. All right. So, Lewis, where is the gray tank under the casita? It's up. Up near the front by the closet? Yeah, it's underneath the closet and the shower. And so, where is the black tank? Uh, Geographically speaking, it's a, a under the actually, toilet, right? Actually, the gray tank is front to back on by the closet, closet side. Going back under the doorway and toward the kitchen. And I think the black tank is right here. Okay. In this corner. So yeah. the black tank is a much shorter distance. Yes. That's probably good enough to get some water in the gray tank to rinse it out mm -hmm. now. Okay, so... So we can turn on, we can open the valve there. Just let the black tank rinse out. It's pretty clean, not too bad. All right. Somebody left a hose here, but it's a hose with a hole in it. So it looks like the gray tank is finishing up its little rinse. So, yep, the last thing you got to do is you got to rinse off the hose and the rhino blaster. You never just put a dirty hose away in a dirty rhino blaster. You make sure everything is as clean as reasonably possible. And the rhino blaster allows you to rinse while it's all still connected. Lewis, can you turn around and say that? The rhino blaster allows you to rinse with it still connected. 
Right. You can shut off the bat gray and black valves and then just open the hose and the water will rinse. The, uh, so I'm going to open the water. So, and, and notice he said, make sure the gray and black valves are closed. You don't want to be driving down the road with your gray and black valves open. That's an important thing to remember when you're doing this dump station. And this is rinsing the rhino blaster and the hose. And yep, the cleaning up the rhino blaster and the hose. All right, turning off the water. He's going to unhook the hose from the rhino blaster. Okay, unhook the sewer hose from the rhino blaster. He's going to give the sewer hose one last nice rinse. All right. Make sure everything is as clean as it can be, or reasonably clean. Then he's going to remove the elbow from the hose. Has kind of a positive connection there. Of course, it's giving him a hard time today. Okay. Hose goes back in our box where all the stuff connected with the cleanup goes. The elbow goes back in the box. Cap gets closed. Lewis, is that black tank open a little bit, or am I imagining that? Yep, now it's closed. Cap goes on the black tank. And our hose stores in the bumper, so it's going to go back in the bumper now. So... That's a dump station trip. Well, he's got the lid, the cap put back on the bumper, takes off the gloves. They store inside one another till we get them to the trash. Hand sanitizer. Be nice if you could actually wash your hands with soap, but that's not usually a possibility. So just try to keep it as clean as you can. Everything goes back into the box. And the box goes back into the car.